So I'm pleased to have the opportunity to provide this technical overview of the, the snow and ice report. So administration will be presenting uh, an update to the snow and ice pilot to the Community and Public Services Committee coming up on Wednesday. And given the amount of information in this report and the corresponding attachments, our intent in this presentation is to provide you an overview of what the report is on, as well as to lay some foundations for the subsequent report that will be presented in August. So the goal of the pilot is to create the safe shed options for vehicles, cyclists and pedestrians by using the right tool for the right condition in order to reach bare pavement during the winter season. And our focus is on safety, which means using the right tool for the right condition. At the same time, we're focused on using the least amount of material possible to achieve bare pavement and doing our due diligence by conducting all the studies and monitoring to assess the trade-offs between safety and the impacts on the environment, infrastructure and vehicles. Every tool we use has a benefit, but it also has a trade-off. So no one tool can dress snow and ice on its own. So there's no magic bullet. Rather for us, it's looking at the conditions and using the tool or several tools in combination to reach the goal of bare pavement. This approach has been extensive and used in several jurisdictions through North America. And uh, we've done a jurisdictional review as part of this pilot. So we've used the study of snow and ice control techniques. We're doing a thorough review of the benefits and trade-offs of achieving bare pavement on both the infrastructure, environment, and vehicles. And based on these findings of the different uh, research projects, we'll be looking at the benefits and trade-offs for Edmonton's snow and ice program, including the outcomes related to safety, environment, infrastructure, and vehicles. And then based on that, we'll be putting recommendations going forward.